Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install two different WordPress preloader plugins. The first plugin will be a free plugin and the second plugin will be a premium plugin. I'll show you how you can customize different types of preloaders on your WordPress website. The preloader will be shown on your WordPress website while the web page is loading in the background. So instead of showing the broken page, it will show the preloader on your website and it will help the visitor to understand the web page is still loading and they will wait for the page to be loaded fully. There are many different types of preloaders that you can use in a premium plugin. However, we will start with the free plugin. So let's go to the dashboard of WordPress website and I'm going to start with the free WordPress preloader plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new. Here search for preloader. Now here you will see many different preloader plugins are available. So I'm going to install this plugin here, preloader plus. This is one of the free preloader plugin. Click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed in the bottom left hand corner. You will see preloader plus and here you will see some video tutorials which will help you understand how does this work all right now let's go to appearance and go to customize all right so we are on the customize at the bottom you'll see preloader plus click on it go to settings so these are the basic settings of the preloader plus plugin in order to enable preloader you need to check this box enable preloader then we have show preloader only on the front page so it will show the preloader only on the home page of the website if you check this box otherwise it will show the preloader on all the pages of your website all right so if you want to show it on all the pages you can simply uncheck this box then we have show the preloader only on the first visit. It will show the preloader whenever the visitor is coming to your website for the first time. All right, so I'm not going to check this box and I want to show this on all the pages. Here you will see built-in icon. I'll show you how you can change the icons. Progress bar. So if you want to disable progress bar, you can simply click on this option and it will hide the progress bar. I'll show you the progress bar also. Right now, we are going to enable the progress bar. You will see the progress bar here at the top. Custom image. If you want to add custom image, you can add the custom image. Then we have blog name. It will show the blog name or the website name here. You will see the blog name or the website name here. If you want to add custom content, you can enable this option. And the next option is percentage counter. So you will see the percentage counter here. This is the percentage counter. Now you can change the color settings. This is the background color. If you want to change the background color, you can change the background color. And this is for the preloader text. So these are the color settings. You will see the changes here. This is how to look. Now let's go back here under typography. You can change the font style. This is the option bold none if you want to capitalize it you can capitalize it this is the size font size in pixel this is for the blog name this is the blog name percentage counter you will see the percentage counter at the bottom and this is for the font size of the custom content if you add the custom content here next is icon and image so this is the icon currently selected if you want to change it you can select other icon and now you will see the new icon here you can select any of these icons. This is the icon dimension. You can change the dimension. I'm going to make it 100 and it will increase the size of the icon. This is the size. If you have custom image, you can add the custom image. Let's try one of the images from this website. Let's try this logo here. You will see this logo here added. And this is the dimension of the logo. I'm going to reduce the dimension and animation. If you want animation, you can add the animation. You will see it is rotating. All right, so this is about the image and icon. Next is progress bar. You will see the progress bar at the top. You can change the height. I'm going to make it 20 pixel. It will be 20 pixel. And you will see 20 pixel progress bar at the top. This is the width. You can set 100% width distance from the top 
or bottom you can change the distance from the top or to the bottom if you want to show it in the bottom you can select the bottom option and it will be shown in the bottom and this is the color you can change the color this is the background color you will see it here the background and the color all right so these are the options in this free version animation this is the animation delay animation duration opacity distance content animation this is for the content animation all right so i guess these are the basic settings of this preloader let's click on publish let's close it and let's visit the website now and you will see the preloader pre here so this is how the preloader will work while loading the content on your page it is going to show the preloader this is all about the free wordpress preloader plugin now i'm going to install one of the premium preloader plugins for the wordpress website so let's go to other wordpress website let me show you the website of this plugin this is the plugin wordpress preloader unlimited and the pricing of this plugin is only 17 dollars this is not a costly product the price of this plugin is very reasonable if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box name of the plugin is wordpress preloader unlimited you can see all the features i have already downloaded this plugin and i have uploaded the plugin to this website once you upload it you will see the option here wppu you need to go to this option and let's see how this premium plugin works all right so we are on the settings here you will see settings go to general settings now you will see the option disable home page so if you select disable home page it will not show the preloader on the home page disable specific pages on your website so it will show all the pages of your website and if you want to disable this preloader on any one of these pages you can simply check the box and it will not show the preloader on that particular page if you want you can disable it on all the other pages and it will show only on the home page next option is disable specific post type so if you want to disable it on the blog post or any post type you can select that post type from here next is disable archive page such as blog page so it will not show it on the blog page disable 404 page disable search page and disable on mobile or tablet so if you want to disable it on mobile devices you can select that option from here once done you can save the options now this is the preloader type window load or custom time period for preloader so if you set the custom time period it will take that much time or you can select the window load preloader hide animation so once it is done this animation will be used to hide the preloader slide up slide down and this these are the delay timings so i'm not going to make any changes here i'll show you how does this work the first option is image options so here you will see some images that you can select let's select this one and this is how it will look so i'm going to save this let's turn it on and save it now here you will see different types of categories are available image options fill animation trendy 3d letter awesome css3 special options so we will go through all these options one by one first option is image options and i have selected one of these options let's refresh the page and you will see this image option this website is pretty fast it has opened without taking too much time so you can change the image also this is the image you will see the preview here this is how it will look let's select this one you can change the background color also i'm going to select this color and this is how it will look let's try this one click save options refresh it and this is the preloader so you will see the preview while loading the page this is how it will look you can change the size if you want to customize the size you can use the customized size of this image if you want to upload your own image you can also upload your own image however it should be gif gif image only 
So if you already have GIF image, you can upload the image and it will be used as the preloader. All right, now let's go to the next option that is fill animation. And here you will see the text which will be filled. So I have this quick tips. I have already set up quick tips. This is the name of the website, let's say. Let's click on run again. And this is how it will look. It is going to fill the color of the text that you want to set up. Let's change it to, and this is how it will look. You can change the text color. And you can also change the background color. So this is how it will look. At the bottom, you have the progress bar. You can change the height of the progress bar. And you can also change the color of the progress bar. So we have got text, the counter and the progress bar. All right, now this is the text size. You can change this text size also. Let's click on run again. And this is how it will look. Now turn it on and save the option. We will see how does this look. Refresh it. This is how it will look. The second option is image. So if you have any image, you can upload the image and the image will take place on the text. You can increase the size. Let's increase the size. And this is how it will look run. You will see the change in the color of the image. So I have used one of the uploaded image from here. This is the image that I have used. You can use any other image. Let's save it. Refresh it. All right, now let's go to the next option that is trendy. These are the pre-designed preloaders that you can use. So let's see, I want to use this one. I can turn it on first and save the options. Let's refresh it. This is how to look. So you can change the preloader. You can change the text color from here see it shows loading this is the text you can change the color this is the background color and this is the text color you will see it here let's try this one and this is how it will look you can change the background color and the text color just like this these are the pre-designed preloaders this is how it will look you will see many other preloaders here so if you want you can use any one of these preloaders now the next option is 3d letters you will see 3d letters here here you can change the letters You can increase the text size and the background animation, text animation background. So this is the color change. And this is the text color. You can change the text color also. And here you will see different types of styles. Flip down, 3D, slow flip. If I select this one, turn it on, save options. Let's refresh it. This is how it will look. So these 3D letters are also looking good. Next option is awesome CSS3. So these are the preloaders that you can use. Here you will see the preloader. See if I select this one, I can change the background color. I can also change the body color. Let's try this one. This is how it will look. You will see the change in the color. This is the text loading. You can change that also. You can change the size of the text. You can see it here, the next option. So you will see that there are many pre-designed templates that you can use as preloader.
let's try this one turn it on save options refresh it this is how to look the next option is special options you will see the content here let me change it and you will see it here and it is going to change the color of the content i guess yeah this is how to look you can change the color of the background color and this is the text color this is also good next option is object options so here you can upload your own image and it will show the animation around this image this is a background color if i want to change it let me copy this one first i can upload my own image let's try this one it will show the animation around this image you can change the size let's turn it on save options refresh it this is how it will look next option is paste options so i guess this is a customized one first select your desired paste jquery so i'm not going to work on this one your own custom here you can add your html code input your own preloader markup or html and you can create your own preloader for the wordpress website so definitely the premium version has many different preloader options to choose from and it is not really very costly it is going to cost you only 17 dollars so this is how you can use a free and a pro preloader for your wordpress website that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips